Good evening, Ruby Jones with ABC News. The member for Araluen, Robin Lamley, has just announced her resignation from the country Liberals. Our reporter Jane Barden joins us now from Parliament. Jane, what can you tell us? Well, Robin Lumley's decision to resign to the crossbenches is another blow to the Giles government. Elected with 16 members, it's now down to 13, just a one-member majority. And this is how Robin Lumley announced the decision tonight to Parliament. I will spend the remainder of my term as member for Araluen on the crossbenches, as the independent member for Araluen. Never would I have thought in my wildest dreams that I would be forced to resign from a party I have been phil philosophically aligned with all my life. Never would I have thought I would be subjected to the persecution, retribution and intimidation dished out by the Chief Minister and the Treasurer. And a short time ago I asked Robin Lumley what was behind her decision. The straw that broke the camel's back was really yesterday the announcement of the Electoral Commission's proposal to dump the seat of Araloo and that, that, that was the final straw. You've also called Adam Giles tonight the worst Chief Minister. Why is that? Well, I think the Chief Minister has a problem with the truth. I think he has uh, uh, very little time for strong women. Over the last uh, six months, three distinguished um, members of Parliament, Jodine Carney, Faye Miller, the Mayor of Catherine, and now myself have, uh, have all resigned from the party. And all of us have cited problems with integrity within the Giles leadership. Adam Giles has strongly refuted having problems with the truth. Um, you've also, though, tonight uh, cited the resignations of the other women. Are you saying that you feel um, it is a misogynist environment in the government? Well, there's a problem there. I don't like to use the word misogynist. I, um, I have never been a victim of anything in my life, but over the last six months I've found the way I've been treated by uh, the Giles leadership team has been uh, nothing short of um, unacceptable, You've also intolerable. You've also called for an ICAC. Um, why do you think that's necessary? We need an independent watchdog. We need uh, a body that can make a decision uh, to investigate and then carry out the investigation. At the moment, we are subjected to the discretion of the Chief Minister and the government. And, and uh, some of the allegations we've even heard today in the chamber involve government and the Chief Minister. So there's no objectivity at the moment. And do you expect um, other members of the party might follow you and that the government could even lose its majority in Parliament? I think um, after my resignation tonight, I think that it is unlikely that anyone will follow me. I think uh, no one will be wanting to take responsibility for bringing the government down. Robin Lumley, thanks very much. Thanks, Jane.